Turning on the main thing. Oh wait, no, you don't need to see that. Hi everyone. Um Well, I think I got everything set up. Um we are going to be working on the MC Prep competition. So MC Prep has come out with a competition. And uh I've been asked by Duck How to uh try to uh, get in there. And I'm I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. I got an idea of what I want to do for the animation and I'm gonna try to get it done oh wait that's what's talking in the background my phone I thought it would be easier on my computer if I put my stream on my phone so that way my computer didn't have to try and figure uh, add that to the process of the videoing so I got my video on my phone unless powerage to everything else so but there is also a couple other things that i need to do oh show keys thank you um actually not yet not for this thing um because we will because i have to do that for each save individually unfortunately i wish i could just be like ah, oh, save keys for everything but apparently i need to apply it for all um, do you guys want to see the results of the ZF animation so far? There's a couple things that I still need to do, um, for the ZF animation, and those would take up a pretty quick amount of time. No, Jen does. Hi, Jen. <laughs> um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool, cool. Because uh, there is a couple other things that I need to do for the ZF animation, and I'm wondering if you do you guys want to uh, see the last bits of that? It should take me like mm, maybe a half an hour in order to uh, fix up the last bits of animation that I need to do th for that. So I could do that before we jump into the MC Prep animation too. Uh, 3D rendering, rend oh not rendered projects. Here we go. ZF and renders. See here, it's slam. Let's pause the music really quickly. Do, 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 do. Pause. And final animation. So, before we get into that, I did change over uh, the ZF thingamadoo hickey from a um, from my standard mouth for the character to a ZF mouth. So that what? So his mouth doesn't open at all. It just changes its shape in order to help its expression. So we have we have a different face. <laughs> well I'm glad I'm glad that you like the in the face. Um oh I was worried about god. that. Oh my gosh. Someone subscribe. Someone subscribe. Oh my god, they're so pretty. I thank them. I'm I'll Someone thank them. I will thank them. Can you can you be quiet so I can thank them? Thank you. Thank you, Wiggly Fox, for for this for this Oh no! Thank you, say you, uh, say you, Lily. See you, Lily. You've. Uh, oh no no no! Hold on, I get it. Okay, Wiggly Fox is continuing the gift from from say you, Lily. I thought say you, Lily was up at this time. She shouldn't be up at this time. But thank you for continuing that uh, sub. I appreciate that, Wiggly Fox. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get it down somewhere down the line of what actually happened. But yeah, we changed up the uh, the ZF. Yeah, I I truly, truly appreciate the sub. Thank you, Willy Wiggly. All right, ZF animation. This is the results of the animation. Ta-da! There we go. And that is the full animation for the intro. A little bit extra on the end, so that way he can fade into the game show. Uh, yeah. So I did change the speed of some of these sheep falling down, because they didn't, they didn't fall quite right. Um, and then I also had to uh, change up the, um, the massive amount of sheep that falls in front of the camera, so that it... So they bounce in front of the camera and then disappear so that way you can see the logo enough. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, all that, all that, all that falling animation had to be uh, retimed a little bit. Not completely redone, but definitely retimed. So that is that animation. <laughs> so, um, quick question before we get into, well, actually, if we should get into the MC prep uh, animation right now. Wait, what was that sound? Oh. Oh, apparently I'm going to have some um, audience here in a quick, a quick second. Come on in. Need some extra audience? No, I'm going to wait for Nun's call to come back upstairs. Oh, okay. Sorry to wake you. Now I have all three puppies. So, I got... Hi, Remy. I know. I love you, too. You're a good boy. Here's your good boy. I, I, no, I don't need... Remy hugs! Or, oh, oh, gosh. Hi, Remy. You can't be in my lap. You really can't. You can't be in my lap. I know. I love you, too, pup pup. I'm streaming, puppy. I love you, too. Oh, my gosh. Your breath stinks. Oh, wet face. Wet face. Go down. Go down, pup pup. No, no. Lay down, lay down. Good boy. <laughs> yes, sure thing, Wiggly Fox. I'll, I'll, I'll get them some treats. Okay. Here you go, Rem Rems. Here you go, Kilia. Here you go, Jasmines. Go, Pop Pops. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little stale. Okay. So. That's okay. Ari, you, that's quite okay, Ari. All right, so I do have to do a couple things for the for the It's Lamb animation. I do have to add in a some round numbers. So I do have most of it already animated up. Do 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 do. Thank you for getting your hole. Dye your sheet red, I forgot. <laughs> um, he'll have to add in his own um, audio, but we're going to just quickly um, get that in here. Uh, I have everything that I need removed out, so all I need to do now is add in the sheep coming up to hold the sign. So, let's see here. Sheep actors. Let's go ahead and grab this sheep, and we are just going to do a simple animation with this guy pretty quickly do, do, do. move on forward rotate up and here we go do 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 rotate on down and let's bring this head up a little bit this is one of the reasons why i have this head detached so that i can move it into a position that i need it to be thankfully it's not too awkward for its physiology. Um, let's grab these two guys and then bring him on up. Bring it up. Good. Got our hooves in the air. But this time we do care where they're put. Uh, let's move these shoulders up a little bit so that we can actually grab onto the sign and then move outward. Do, 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 do. It does work. It does, in fact, work, Glebo. <laughs> oh, no, that was Wiggly Fox. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wiggly Fox is pooping over there. <laughs> the Hebrew word for fart. It's all you need to know. You don't need the hello. You don't need to the goodbye. You don't need the thank you. You just need the word for fart. All right. And let's see here. Lean you back just a little bit more. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. That's good enough. All right. So we want him there. And then we want him also down here. And rotating you this way. All right. Not quite fast enough. So, all right. 
Mm, actually, you are fast enough. You just need to be in the right position. There we go. Mm, continuing the follow over to here. Actually, let's go ahead and grab these hooves. I think that would be a lot easier if we just grabbed all three of these. Remy, you're not going to get any more snacks. Go ahead and lay down. Why are you whining? Whine, 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 whine. There we go. Do, 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 do. Bring you on over here. And then drop back down. Right there. Bring you down and rotate. <laughs> You're fine, Remy. Just lay down. Good boy. All right. We're... No. <laughs> okay. Need to get need to get some in between frames here. Uh. Do 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 do. Rotate. There we go. Bring it down. Hove controls. Bring on back a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. Tango, get in your hole. <laughs> Tango, get in your hole. Get in your hole. Ah, nice sword you got there, congrats. <laughs> it's the green. It's the green blade from uh, what is it? Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Um. Yeah, the Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the, the, the main blade that they're all talking about inside of that movie is called the Green Blade. It's supposed to... The, the, the super... whatever sword. <laughs> but yeah, it's called the Green Blade. You have the Green Blade. Hello, BMC. Nice to see you again. Uh, let's move these hooves just a little... Do 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 do. Mm. Okay, let's move these hooves in a different direction. There we go. That's better. Because it did seem a little bit wobbly there. There we go. Tango, get in your hole. <laughs> Puka, a reminder to keys. Oh, right, yes. Okay. Well, I think we're actually already done on this guy, so you get to see the cast uh, screen caps of Control Sit and Control S. Um, and that actually is done with that because now all I have to do is replace that with uh, round two. It works perfectly fine, and then replace it with a final round, and that uh, we'll have to change that up a little bit. But yeah, mainly the uh, round animation is all complete. Remy, come here. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. All right. So that is complete. And now we can go straight into the next thing that we were mainly here for, which is the MC prep. And I have some things already fixed up. Um, do, 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 should I give it a shot about showing you the, do, 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 showing you, uh, inside of Minecraft, I think I'm going to give it a shot, stream manager, bitrate, eh, bitrate's okay, let's give it a shot, why not, nothing to lose, right, oh, there is one thing that I do need to put out there. Um, I did try to um, uh, practice the the Hermitcraft uh, Hermit Gang rap. I did try to practice that, but work was so incredibly needy that I couldn't do it. I just didn't have time to listen to it during work. I didn't have time to uh, practice it at all, so it, it just got um, pretty bad over the week that I could not practice it. But 
I. Um, I do think that I could put, if you guys wanted, I could put the um, the button up and just put it at a, uh, um, a ridiculous amount. And I could embarrass myself if you guys want to. <laughs> Why does everyone want diabol diabolical reading? <laughs> Lay down. Goodness sakes. Something's up with my pup. Um, well, apparently I made it through that in order to, let's see here, single player animation. Let's see if we can actually load up the world. Good boy. All right. Do 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 do, and will it work? Uh, that's right. I have my stream down below me. Checking out my stream, so it looks like I'm okay, since I preloaded this world and started working on it myself. Uh, <laughs> things super weapon hermit gang. <laughs> super oh soup yeah that i keep forgetting that it's also called uh super weapon um so for the animation i have we're, i have uh this going for me um i'm thinking the the um the competition is stuck indoors so i thought i would uh do something different with it i i know the uh the the idea behind it was to have, uh, since most people are stuck indoors, you're fine, puppy. I think it's because I'm talking to the computer that he's, that he's whining. He's not sure what's quite happening right now. It's just like, why are you talking at the computer? So what I'm thinking for stuck indoors is that, um, my character is going to be coming in through a portal here. I'm thinking that I'll just make a portal out of... Oh! 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 Um... Stopping stream. Gotta pick up... Do oh, Diarrhea... Uh... Diarrhea. I gotta go. BRB. With, um... Minecraft music.
So, it stinks. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It's about the smell. Smell is going to be horrible for everybody. Oh, no. Wait, just me. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Hi. Well, so, yeah, that was, um, that was him whining. Um, I, oh, that's right. I need to close my door. It's going to get, uh, pretty smelly in here. You think I'm just hiding, just biding my time, putting pen to paper, coming up with rhymes. Welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> the, um, yeah, so puppies are currently in their crates. I let them out for a little bit to see if they needed to do anything else. They're in the side of their crates right now. So I'll just need to create and create up, uh, clean up their crates if uh, anything else happens. So, uh, actually, uh, manage, manage rewards. We are going to do one thing. Uh, we are going to take off feed my pet. Currently, there is no feeding of the puppies right now. And no, it wouldn't have been the treats that caused that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, both windows open. It's starting to get pretty chilly over here, so anywho. Where were we? Right! Uh time day. Time set day. Okay. Animation. Um <laughs> uh, the um the animation uh, was gonna be for uh, for MC Prep. It was gonna be stuck indoors. So what I thought I would do is um, my character would come through a portal here. I'm gonna create the portal in Blender, and coming out this way, there would be a lever. Actually, that's one thing I need to add. I had myself a lever here. There's going to be a lever right there. Uh, two blocks up. There we go. There's going to be a lever there. Mm. When we start, you know, we're going to see it through, right? Oh. <laughs> Is this kind of like, um, what am I, what am I thinking of? Uh, in Creeper, oh man, you got to do a line each at each <laughs> and not mess it up. And then if anybody comes in and says uh, one thing, you got to start all over. So, all right, so Puka's gonna flip this lever and this, there's gonna be a, a golden door here that will uh, go upwards through a chain system. So the door is gonna go upwards. Once he steps into this area, there's going to be, basically he's gonna be inside of a, a giant stone pyramid with all of these trees inside of this stone pyramid. And as he comes down this path, um, you see, he can see a little bit of corruption here and there, and he comes up to this pedestal where we will make some sort of artifact that he is going to grab. And then out of this little hole here comes a monster. The monster then chases Puka down the stairway, and Puka gets in here, flips the lever down, the door comes down, and the monster is now stuck in the door. Ah, but we're not finished there. Once the monster is stuck in the door, he's going to try to push up the doorway as Puka tries to reignite the portal that's here. Um, there's going to be runes and stuff that he's going to have to um, manipulate in order to open up the portal as the monster starts to push the door up and Puka jumps into the portal, the portal deactivates, and then the monster is now stuck in here with the door now closed. So he's now stuck also indoors. So I thought that would be a cool little animation. Should be pretty quick. All I have to do is animate him coming through the portal, uh, going up to the pedestal, and then having the monster and Puka animate running down, and then coming into here, and then their uh, little tussle. 
Well, not really an attack. But, um, yeah. That is the plan. Uh, I do want to grab one of these. I do want to put this there. There we go. So, I need to go into Blender. Need to make the giant stone pyramid. And I'm thinking that that I can use these guys as templates to construct the stone pyramid uh, with an array modifier inside of Blender. So that way I don't have to build this entire stone pyramid. Y'all had the insight, now I got it. Uh, uh, indict. Indict. Uh, indict. All right, so save and leave, move out of this guy, and we are going to uh, do, 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 do. I don't think there was any requests on that thingy, was there? Uh, let me bring that back up. Uh, this was from, oh yeah, six days ago, huh? Do, 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 do. All six days ago. Oh my gosh, there's page seven. Oh, there it is. Read the pet. Okay, now we're on to today. Good. Oh, oh. Load file. Um, Puka dress up better. Uh, normal. Where is normal? There's normal. Where am I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Well, apparently I don't have my um, my uh, avatar. In order to get my avatar back, it's going to be uh, a difficult process, and I don't know why it's not there anymore. Makes with Unity. Hmm. New. No. Aha! Okay, there we go. I got it back. I fought with it and I got it back. We're good. We are good. Now I can... Put this there, put that there. Good. Load file. Normal. Much better. Transparent. Well, transparent, drag... Awesome. Music! <laughs> if you can send... Are, are, are you giving me help for, um, for, for when and if I, uh, uh, sing that today? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, all right. So I think I think we're gonna have to start with a completely new file. Uh, screen cap keys on. Thank you for all those reminders. Um, let's see here. I need to start importing some items. Let's go ahead and. Append, we are going to append a few things. Projects, back up, Minecraft palette. Let's go ahead and bring in a few things. Let's bring in the, uh, let's just bring in all of the things. And that should get us at least started. For a little adventure, not that I've already had a little adventure of my own. Uh, I'm currently having a loop. Cool. <laughs> loop in the background. 
when their bodies dissolve, you know that falls is on a killing spree. Try to stop me. Try to stop my PvP and perish painfully. Yeah, I think I think what I need is like a script in front of me in order to do that. Um, I appended. Oh. Not responding. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. Roop, roop. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of a bunch of things, shall we? There we go. We need to get rid of mobs because we don't need any of these mobs, that's for sure. Delete hierarchy. Alright, um, and let's just close everything else out. Alright, good. Get rid of that guy. Mm, we want this guy to be our son. So let's go ahead and bring in that son. Power of five for right now. Uh, new people. We want Puka model. That's what we want. Do, do, do. Minecraft player Fox. Uh, new collection. All right. We are going to call this one Actors. Actors. Bring in our Fox player into Actors. Okay. Um, need a new collection. This one is going to be called Unused. This is where technically all of our things should be instead of Unused because those are all the unused items. Okay, good. Uh, your diamond armor can't compare to my martial... Your ar diamond armor can't compare to my martial arts. Okay. Don't know how the rhythm goes on that part. Oh, Cinema GT. Caffeinated animated redstone innovator. You know, that second word in that caffeinated animated animated is now a true statement because Impulse is now animated. body parts. Hello, thank you for the follow. Pickle string. Pickle string. Strings up on a pickle. Alright, so we got. The Puka guy, and we don't have a monster yet. I'm thinking that this is going to be a um, this is going to be a different monster. I'm hoping to be able to make the monster between this stream and next stream. Hopefully, it'll be a pretty cool monster. But I want to have it done before tomorrow's stream. Let's see here, this is MC Prep. Competition. Animation. Save the file. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can bring in that world. To bring that world, we need 3D rendering and we use Mineways. Mm, Mineways, here we go. Do, do, do. Open a world. We want Skyblock uh, animation. Yeah, that's right. We want the animation one. Mm, there's the temple, but where's the area that I set up everything? Aha, here we go. Here's the area that we set up everything. I think if I select... Uh, no, I don't care. If I select this much, it should be enough. Let's do a little bit more, though. A little bit more than we need. Da -da -da. I need... Export for rendering. Here we go. Let's see here. I need passive... Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to save this as Temple Grounds. 
Mm, Temple Grounds. Save. Mm, no, this is small landscapes. We want large landscapes. That's right. Temple Grounds. Export individual blocks. Okay. Are you going to export correctly? Who knows? There is no controversy. Before it's said and done, you'll be begging us for mercy. Hermit gang, hermit gang, hermit gang, hermit gang. <laughs> Time 16. You've counted this. <laughs> I don't know how many times they say hermit gang. Actually, when I was, um, pract when I did have some practice of this, um, I didn't say Hermit Gang all that much. I, I all I heard was, um, false in the background going, heh, 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 heh. <laughs> X gonna give it to you. He gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you. What? Lyrical boxing. Dropping blows in on my foes. Uh, something, 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 something. Yeah. All right. Import. Pend an item. No, no, we don't. We don't need to impend. We need to import. We're not appending. This is not Lord of the Rings. Oh, this is importing. OBJ. Minecraft. Large landscapes. Temple grounds. Let's see here. Da 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 da. Ba ba da bum ba. Temple grounds. Import OBJ. Lyrical boxing. Dropping blows on my foes. In the G team. Looking unclean. Needing some sunscreen. Okay. Oh. That's right. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't actually uh, added in that thingy, have I? Oh. Two days. Oh, is that is that is that in there yet? No, 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 it's not in there. Why? Why is it not in there? I made the challenge. Um. Uh, oh, okay. All right. I'm not sure. Okay. If this, if this, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna reach this this goal. But uh, if we don't reach the goal in the uh, the two days. Um, I will just refund everybody's points, but I think, uh, start this community challenge. Start. Okay, community challenge. Started. Alright. I have it set for one million points. One million points. Because I'm going to embarrass myself with this. For sure. No doubt, I'm just going to embarrass myself. All right, what do we have here? We have Temple Grounds. Uh, where is our entrance? Our entrance is over there. I want to go down. And there's the default cube. Oh, that's the uh, that's the uh, hair emitter. Now let's go ahead and move this on over. I think that's going to get us in a somewhat right spot. Yep, somewhat right spot. Do, do, do. A little bit more. Grab Z. Grab Z. Okay, and then grab X. Perfect. All right. There is our start position. That's where we want to be. And then let's go ahead and bring these these things into the real world. And by real world, I mean make sure that these guys look pretty. Brought to us by MC Prep. Um, prep materials. Yep. Animate textures. Go. Awesome. Oh, I love that. I love how it just just fixes everything that I need. 
That sun is actually look, looking pretty good. I'm gonna try to get some sunbeams in there. Um, reachable target max to donation 2k per person on stream. What? It's not a reachable goal. The most uh, someone can donate is 2k on the stream. Oh! Oh, okay. Uh, Alright, well, let's manage that then. Manage rewards. Um, It's not a reachable goal. How do we do this? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, manage reports. Uh, let's stop oh this. Oh my god, who they did it. Look, they did it. Puka. Someone Delete subscribed. and refund. Give me the thing. Oh my god, they're Puka. so pretty. Great a challenge. Look, look. Someone look. unsubscribed. Quick. Oh my thank gosh. You. Thank you. Do it. You do it. Glebo, what are you doing, Glebo? Well, thank you for the subscribe there, Glebo. Thank you very much, Sora. It is very appreciated for, for, for the continued subscription. I appreciate that very much. 3,000? Alright, we'll, we'll do 3,000 then. Okay. 3,000. Uh, 30,000, my bad. 30,000. Do, 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 do. Alright, and... Hmm. Huh. Can I not change how many points someone actually gives to this? Like, is there a way that I can change that? And like, you know, oh, somebody can uh, donate um, so many points. Yeah, there's there's no way to change that. Interesting. It's just like 2,000 2, points max per person, which is, huh, interesting. Well... Uh, I guess that's the only thing I can do. Apparently it's... Oh, wait. No, what's this? No, that's that. That doesn't help me. View details. Viewer sees these. Yep. Uh, I cannot change it from 2000 max. Huh. Uh, but any person can donate. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Oh, give the goal name. I need to give the goal name. Ha! That Embarrass outfit is not looking too hot myself. right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Sing a hermit rap. All right. There we go. And start. There we go. Challenge started. There we go. Outfit change. Who's outfit changing? Am I outfit changing? Do 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 do. <laughs> ZF themed outfit. All right, we are going to do that. Oh wait 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 wait. Which which one was it? Was it the game show? Yeah, it was game show. Pickle string ZF game show. Pickle string wants to get a game show. Do do do. ZF. Game show. There we go. I am now ZF. Welcome to This Sheep is Looking at Me. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if we're going to hit that goal today or not. Was it 2000, 2000, 2000? <laughs> Already, it's like one fourth of the way there. No, wait, and Bouncy just jumped in. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness sakes, I'm gonna have to find the find the lyrics. Um, uh, lyrics yet not in chat, <laughs> because I if I look at chat for the lyrics, that would be nice. And and then all of a sudden I'll I'll be like uh, getting burned with all. Getting burned with this herd of nerds, it's absurd that how my rhymes got them injured. Danger, danger. 
that's not a reachable goal. Max donation is 2000 per person. Oh, wait. No, that's not part of the stream, is it? That's not part of the rap. <laughs> I'll be adding in people's comments into the uh, into the rap. <laughs> All right. So we have myself in here. And I also need to get in a... In a... Uh, portal and i want to get in some more effects into this uh animation too oh mind one i do need to get some 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 of this stuff separated don't i i have this set up so that way i can just be like oh let's separate all of these things okay so this guy right here this guy needs to be separated separate by selection Come on, you can do it. Do, 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 do. There we go. And then you. I want you. Oh, uh oh. Some of these stairs aren't working right, huh? Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. We need to grab all of these stairs then, shall we? Still not enough. It's still not enough. We need more resources. The Zerg are coming after us. Sir. You have not enough Vespian gas. Separate by selection. There we go. So I'm hoping that I can tile these guys in Blender. Giving myself a uh, template for... Or some of this stuff. Oh, no. Really? Uh, okay, I need... Select? Oh. I need... This guy. Mm, chain. Is it not gonna give me the chain, is it? Face. Whew. Wow, my computer's going pretty slow. There it goes. Ah, there we go. Select. Now I can select just the chain. That's what I wanted. Selection. Cleo don't know who she freaking with. All the signs say to notify her next of kin the diggity dog. Dropping bombs, double bullet hits. Spit that, spit that rhyme again. <clears throat> Because mm, the message is, I can rumble rap and still be the best there is. Okay, spit that rhyme again. <clears throat> okay. Alright. That I didn't, yeah. Totally needed the, the... I've been trying to figure out these lyrics just by listening to it. Here I just needed to... Here I just needed to uh, look at some text to help me out. All right, so we have these separated. We have these tiles and this chain. Thankfully, the chain will be pretty easy to animate. Um, let's go ahead and get another collection in here. New collection. I want this one to be called Land. All of this is going to go right into here new this is going to be called temple ceiling that's what these two are going to be these ones are going to be the temple ceiling <clears throat> um new this one is going to be um interactive items these are going to be things like the chains the lever switches and uh possibly the um the the item that i'm going to be grabbing at the at the post as well mm, do, 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 do. Yep, there's the... oh my gosh how far are we how how okay okay certain we're currently currently we're at 32 <laughs> percent oh goodness sakes Do, 
<laughs> used it, but you didn't use the command pook. Don't know which one of it you of it it was you. So, in order to make this temple, not nah, white paladin. I think that was you that in that time, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, so let's get these guys have their correct origin points and see if we can. Get them to array modifier correctly. Um, origin to geometry. So, all right. I'm hoping that we can do this. Move this guy on out. Move this guy on out. And this guy is going to come down a little bit so that I can remember to see it. All right. Uh, let's try this. Array modifier. This is the... <laughs> this is the best modifier that I have found for Minecraft. Um, it, it allows me to duplicate anything and duplicate everything uh, on a grid basis. There we go. Alright, so I'm thinking this is going to work out okay. Uh, that'll go that way a bit. Look at this, look at this. And I can tile it right on out. That is so cool, I like that. And in order to give it some variety, I have yet another type of tile as well. So let's go ahead and give this an add a modifier, add an array. And we're going to do yet another one on this axis. We can have that tile. Um, I think I can add on yet another an array modifier, and there we go, perfect. So now this can go in all directions. So this goes up the up the temple, and this goes to the side of the temple. So look at that! Look at that! Um, I think what I'll do. I think what I could do is make the temple out of this template, the solid template, first, and then turn it into a mesh. And then I can, I can sporadically put in these guys here. They won't be perfect, but I'm not counting on it to be perfect. So. <laughs> Busy guy, lots, lots of things to do. And make sure. Drink water. Uh, well, it's not as cold in here as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah, I had to open up both of my windows in order for the, the stink to go out. Do, 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 do. There we go. Alright, so. How do we want to do this? I think... I think the best thing I can do is I think I'll clip into it just a little bit, not too much. Like so. Like so. Like so. There we go. And then add some more onto this side. Good. All right, I think if I duplicate this guy, duplicate, rotate uh, 180, whoop, nope, rotate Z 180, there we go. Then I can just move this guy on over to here, and over to here. And now it has a peak, perfect. Uh, kind of perfect, not really. Let's go ahead and move these guys backwards a bit. Bring it down. There. Because I want it centered over over this guy. Come on, move faster. There we go. 
So we want this centered. Is this going to be centered a bit? Whoop. Uh, not quite. Mm, grab X. There we go. Okay, I think that's good, because if I go in through the center, almost straight down. Yeah, it's centered enough. It is centered enough. Let's go ahead and duplicate this guy and rotate Z 90 degrees, and that should give us the temple on the inside that we're looking for. Perfect, yeah. That is exactly what we're looking for. Kind of. Which is your grab Z. And there we go. And offset it just a little bit so that those textures don't... So we don't have some texture friction. So, alright. So all we're going to be seeing is in on the inside. And that is what we're looking for. So now let's get some lights in here so that way we can define some of this. I think the best way to do this is to add in the mesh. <laughs> Creeper all man thing. <laughs> nope, not a good idea. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it's going up. Ah, we're halfway there. Halfway towards embarrassing myself. Yeah, I thought, I thought I could set it so that um, people could contribute some more things, some more points. Not that I actually want to do this, but uh, it doesn't seem fair that you can only contribute 2,000 points. Hmm. Shiny text. Oh, that's just... Huh. That's just that's just the highlighted message here. I'm waiting for the text to speech to go off. All right, so we need this to become apply. Apply. Okay. Apply. Apply. Okay. Uh why is there multiple of these things? Oh, oh, that's what's happening. Okay, I get you. I get you. I know what's happening. I swear. I swear I know what's happening. Mm, let's go ahead and duplicate this guy into... Let's see here. Um, modified temple temple Ceiling. Got to make sure that there's at least one of these guys. Let's go ahead and duplicate this guy. Um, I gotta make sure that um, there's at least one of these things. Unused ceiling. Get rid of that. Put these and that in there. So that way I have at least one of these guys with still its modifiers attached to it. So that way if there's a huge mistake... I can just change that up. All right, that doesn't need to be applied. Uh, this one does. Apply and apply. Now I have a mesh version of all of those blocks. Now what I can do is start taking off some of these things that I don't need. So, uh, orthographic view. There we go. Let's go ahead and start cutting off some of this. So I don't need the, all of this. Delete faces. Mm, tab mode. Let's go ahead and get rid of a bunch of these faces that we don't need. Faces. Faces, and then box select, next, last section, delete faces, there we go. 
All right. Kind of looks like a roofed house from the outside, but we're gonna forget about the other ones there. Those ones really don't concern me too much. Um, the center portion though. Center portion. We're we are gonna have an intentional. Uh, by intentional, I mean the builders of this temple intended there to be a roof hole. Eight faces. There we go. Yeah. Builders wanted them there to be a f roof hole here, so we're gonna do that. Faces. Awesome. Uh, we do want a few more other holes here, too. We're going to... Oh, wait. I am gonna have to get rid of some of these sides, aren't I? It's gonna ha let's go ahead and do that because in order to get in a bunch of the light that I want I'm going to have to get rid of all these sides faces done <laughs> now singing her hermit gang the super weapon I'm going now need my sleep all right take care owl be safe Thank you very much. Uh, I saw owl croissants. Um, little uh, skeleton version of herself, and I thought that was really well done. Super well done. Faces. There we go. I think that'll do. Now let's go in here and... Remove some of these holes here. Faces. And. Faces. I'm going to just remove a bunch of these holes here, just sporadically. Actually, I can double up my time here just by doing this. There we go. Delete. Oop, delete faces. There we go. Now, if we look inside of here, are we in rendered view? Yeah, we are. We are in rendered view. Why am I not getting some light in here? Hello, son. Son, what is happening, son? Let's see here. We want this to be pointing in. Go to the light. Uh, light source needs to come out a bit here. All right, so the light is coming in from that direction. If we do this, what do we get? We should get something. Are we not getting anything through here? Oh, oh, oh we're getting something. We're not getting enough though. Definitely not getting enough lights. Uh, how do I want to do this? I'm not getting enough lights, so... Why is there not one showing for this one? Ooh, it's on an angle. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's, let's change this from that to this. There we go. Now we're getting some lights in here. Awesome. Cool. Now I have little spots of light that I can add in. So, now that I have the holes that actually work with the light, now I can make in some fake holes too. So let's go ahead and add in some lights. So, beyond just this, because it's not going to be our only light source. 
<laughs> all right, all right, below, below your stream. Oh, oh, is it, is it, uh, is it on the the little description thingy? Oh, I can't, I can't look at that right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add in a new collection. We're gonna call this one uh temple lights we're gonna call this one temple lights and we are going to add in Ooh, let's see here what do we want to add in let's add in a let's add in a spotlight light spot Okay, let's turn this guy like so. And we need to increase his damage here. All right. Huh, still don't see it. Uh. Custom distance? No. Should be able to just straight up see the light from inside there. How do we do spotlight thingy? Do I need to change the distance? Custom distance? Er. Ah, there's there's the line. And why fourth are you not? Uh, let, okay, fine. Let's add you at a bajillion zeros. There we go. There's something. Huh. That's a lot of light just for just for the spotlight. What am I doing wrong? Radius. Okay, no idea what I'm doing wrong. Let's go ahead and... Nope, I don't want to rotate. I want to relocate you to there. There we go. Now we get an effect of some more ambient-ish lights. Okay, and now let's move this guy out a bit. And we're going to duplicate this guy for some of the other holes that we have in there. And some of the fake holes that we'll be coming in as well. Alright, good. Let's add on a few more points of light. There we go. Good. Let's... No, I want to go to flight mode. Do, do, do. There we go. Yeah. This is what we want. Alright. Uh, I think I'll have this light be the main light for the pedestal. Ugh. Not so much. All those trees are in the way. I think I think we'll have a direct light from up here. So let's go ahead and duplicate this guy. We're going to take you straight up to the top. Straight up to the top. There we go. Bring it forward a bit. And we want you to point straight down. There we go. Straight down. Let's change up the radius of this doohickey because he doesn't need to be too large. Um, distance, radius, 
angle size. Here we go. Because we want you to be concentrated right on top of that. On top of that pedestal. Oh! Huh. I am definitely not centered. Let's go ahead and grab this guy, this guy, and this guy. We're all the guys. So I'll grab all the guys. And let's actually move this over, Tad. This is one thing that you can definitely not do inside of Minecraft. go there we go good enough doesn't need to be super perfect but it is better all right, he'll step out of here, and what does he see? He sees... Um, he sees a little bit of a gap there. Huh? Look at this. Hey, I'm walking in Minecraft. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Huh. Forgot I could do that. Uh, no, what, what is it again? It's, uh, no, no, uh, alt, why, wait, I don't know how to get out of walk mode, how do I get out of walk mode? Oh, no, ah, there we go, it's just one tab, so it's two tabs, no, Oh, it's one tab to go into the walk mode, one tab to go into flight mode. Okay, cool. So I can actually walk around here going do 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 do. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that inside of Blender. That's pretty cool. Boink. And it has a uh, simple gravity to it. Weird. That is cool. Cool, but weird. Take care, Glebo. Take care, Sora. Sora! <laughs> Sora, we've got to get the Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Alright, so we have that guy. I need to increase his power a bit, don't I? Alright, so if I can increase his power multiple times. Oh, for goodness sakes. Is it, is it still not showing up? Wait, why is it not showing up? Oh, it is showing up. Zoop. Hmm. you to point down. Uh, rotate. There we go. Now you're pointing straight down, but you're still not in the right position. Distance. Ah, okay. Now the distance comes into play. Here we go. Here we go. Let's take off this from 5 million points, shall we? And we're just going to do 5,000. There we go. Thousand, fifty thousand, five hundred thousand. There we go. And blend. Let's blend this guy a little bit. There we go. Perfect. 
Now, uh, I think I want to get in some area, because I have the two main lights that I want. I think I should have some area lights, too. So let's put in some of those, because there's going to be some ambient light that will just bounce around in here. And I have to add in that type of light for EVs. So, yeah. Let's bring you on over here. Scale you up. Alright. Okay, um, custom distance. Okay, you are going to be very far down, because you are going to be pretty much at the entire area. Uh, add in a bunch of zeros. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Too many zeros. Too many zeros. There we go. Thousand. You're not going to be helpful, are you? Uh, well, it helps add add some shape to everything around here. Uh, let's go ahead and put this to five. There we go. Yeah. And actually, let's take off specular off of this stuff. Because there is too much. Hermit challenge. Do a SpongeBob, mm, SpongeBob impersonation for one minute hermit challenge. Has has to donate for hermit gang. <laughs> wait, wait, how do you donate a hermit gang? <laughs> Uh, specular. We need principled, and let's take off this specular bit. Oh wait, no, that's that's only from Mossy. Yeah, that, that should be right. Mossy stone brick. Cracked stone brick. Uh, principled. Let's take off the specular. And then... Do, 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 do. Mossy. Mossy cobblestone. Interesting. Okay. That shine is not as much as I thought it was. Okay. So now we have a little bit of definition to just about everything. So now you can look in here and have just a little bit of shadow. Good. So that's going to be the main look of the area. I do have to add in some more, more lights to have some more shadows, but those are going to be a little bit more strategic. I do want to see if I can add in a fog, though. Um, land... Temple ceiling, interactive items, temple lights. Let's go ahead and add in a new new collection. And this one is going to be Sky and Atmos Fear. Okay. Bring this on down. There we go. This one I need to bring in in a problem. Am I still running? Good, I'm still running. Let's add in a mesh. Do, 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 cube. Scale it up. Compasses everything, and I want to add in a principled volume. Remove this guy. Volume. Yes. I want to add in a principled volume. Woof! Wow, that is dense. Okay. Um, let us go to 
Density, let's go to 0.1. Start to see a little bit. Let's go to 0 0.01. See a little bit more. I think, I think that does really good, actually, there. Look at that. There we go. I like how that's looking. All right. Whoop, going to the ground. Oh yeah, look at, look at that. Oh, look how it's coming through the trees. Look how that's going. Oh wait, um, I need to turn off screen cap. Nope. Yeah, look at how it comes through the trees. Oh, that is good. Hello, P.O.B. Uh, yeah, look at that. I love how that is looking. Oh, that is looking really good. Okay, if I bring down the density a little bit more, am I going to keep that? Zero, one. No, I am not. Okay. Let's go back to one. That. Oh, that is that works perfectly. Um, emission color, yes. Emission strength, okay. I want to see. I want to see something really quickly. Let me put on emission. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. No. No. Hold on. Hold on. All right. And that adds on a little bit more extra there too. I like how that goes. Ooh, maybe a little bit less even. Let's go zero five. Yeah, I like how that that's looking. Density four. Oop, too much. Uh, actually, no. Two. That's actually. Oh, I kind of I kind of like that. Kind of like that. All right, I think, I think that's good. Yeah, I like that. I think that's good. I think what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna keep that. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep that. For sure. Hmm. All right, so, uh, what's this? Oh, this is mine ways. I can get rid of mine ways. Maybe that's bogging me down a little bit. Save that. Let's get in some more pointed lights here. All right, and I think I'm gonna attach them to, to some of these things up here. So let's go ahead and duplicate some of these guys here. And duplicate this, and we're gonna bring you right on up here. Nope, I don't want to rotate. I want to bring upwards. There we go. Mm, rotate. No, no, you shouldn't rotate. This is from the sunlight coming in. So, but let's make this a little bit smaller on its angle size. There we go. Do, do, do. Good. Let's... Let's bring in a little bit of light from over on the side here, too. Let's duplicate this guy and bring him on over. Okay. We're gonna have you angle inward a little bit, too. There we go. Let's do the same thing with this guy. You over? Nope, I don't want to rotate. I want to just relocate. There we go. And actually, you guys don't matter too much if you clip through the the building. There we go. Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, that's good. I like that. Yeah, one of the camera shots will be upwards, just to show the, uh, the, the size of this place. And that everything is encased inside. Might bring down the... The emission a little bit, though. Uh, emission strength. Let's go ahead and bring this down to a 1. Mm. Okay, zero five. 5. How low can I go? Actually, emission strength. What, what if I change the emission color? No, that doesn't change. Oh, interesting. Oh, that is, that is interesting. Oh, I can change the uh, color of the fog and have that determine whether or not uh, how much of the sunbeam is seen compared to the rest of the fog in the area. Oh, that is interesting. I like that. Yeah. But I lose a bit of it down here. So let's let's go back to here really quickly and ramp it up just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Bring it down a little bit. There we go. Okay. That's much better. I like that. I love that. Treasure hunting, collect them all, trading game. <laughs> what, are you going to try and have me uh, wrap that? Deck building, dungeon crawling, treasure hunting, collect them all, trading game. That's a decked out. That's a decked out, a decked out. Save the game. Oh, uh, thank you for the uh, follow there, Lego. I appreciate it. Uh, pretty sure that explains everything about and decked out. Yep, it is. It does. Um, that does change these vines a little bit. Let me let me see something really quickly. No, it doesn't change the vines. It just changes. But I do. I might need to change the vines themselves anyway. Hmm. I think that'll be a later step. That's some. That's just a picky. That's just something picky of myself. All right. So we can come on up to here. Yeah, this is gonna look good. All right. Then the monster will come out of there, and that's the pedestal. So I have this brick here, just as a we're, just as a. Uh, temporary doohickey. What I wanted to do with this guy is just take him and shrink him down a little bit. Oh boy. Uh, no. There we go. Now I know what I'm looking at. Alright. Actually, I don't need to separate this, do I? I can just move this guy on down. Merp. Hello. Computer. Hello, computer. Fine, we'll separate this. Separate by selection. Why not? Put this into the, into the interactive items. Do, 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 do. Yeah, get out of edit mode. Edit mode is dangerous for my computer. Objects, set origin to geometry. Okay, bring you on down. And shrink you a bit. And shrink you a little bit more. Oh, wait, no. Just put you right on the pedestal like so. All right. And then I think I'll have the item that Puka is going to grab on top of this, or floating above it, rather. Still don't know what quite to have for the item on top. Um, what do you guys think I should have on top of this pedestal? 
I mean, could have a, like, um, a totem of undying, um, or some cool new item or something like that. Then I'll just build up myself. Uh, I do want to get in some more, some more of these lights here. So let's grab some of these lights. Uh, hiccup. Hiccup. Oh, the fog stops. Oh, hello. Why does the fog stop? Fog doesn't need to stop there. Let's, let's keep increasing that size then. There we go. There we go. Dragon egg. Ender crystal. Ender dragon crystal. Ender dragon crystal egg. Hmm. Ender dragon crystal egg. I like that. Ooh, this one. Oh, I want to grab this. Is that the only one there? Yeah, that's the only one there. Duplicate. Bring you on down. Right there. And then scoot you on over. Down and over. Good. Good. Okay, as we look up, so I think I can have a few more fake lights over on this left side here, where I can just, uh, I might, I could poke holes if I wanted to. If I wanted to, I could poke some holes into the ceiling, but I need some more light down here. And I think what I can do is just reduce the radius on this guy. Make them pretty small. Just add in a few more lights here. Do, 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 do. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, all right. Wait, 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 what's happening? No, I just want this guy. Oh, that's what's happening. Okay, I see what's happening. Durr. Okay, I want this to be just in Deck line building, with that. Dungeon crawling, treasure hunting, yeah. collect them all trading game. I think Tango said it better. <laughs> but my gosh, if he had that voice for the game, it'd be like <laughs> it would win over everybody's heart for sure. <laughs> All right, let's grab this guy. We want a little bit more. Jumping. I don't want you jumping. Uh, grab Z. There we go. Now we can illuminate the path. That's what I want. Blend radius. I want some more blend here. There we go. Put some more blend in this. My God. Put some more blend in the blender, shall we? And duplicate this again. Let's bring this on over to here. See if I can go through the trees down here. Rip. Mm, not so much. And that's why it's not showing up on the path then. Rip. Uh. That outfit is not looking too X. hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Oh my gosh! This message is so shiny, it makes my eyeballs hurt. <laughs> Ellie Beatmaker! Uh, be Hermitcraft Remixer. Alrighty. 
do. Cook the dress bat. Dress up. Ellie. Do do do. One eye included. Now I've lost my depth perception. <laughs> All right, grab this guy, duplicate him, and I want to hunt to, hunt to grab X, and let's move it along the path here. Grab Z. And grab X. And grab Z. I need this to come through the trees. Grab X. A little bit. Now a little bit is coming through there. Mm. Yeah, a little bit is coming through there. Uh, zoom in on this thing. Uh, not much is going to get through that, that's for sure. Do, do, do. Let's grab yet another doohickey. Ooh, I know what I can do. Just came to mind. I can put some of these lights inside of the trees in order to help bring out some of the lights. Um, there's the next portion there. Let's grab Z. Grab X. Grab Y. There we go. Yeah, let's see if we can put some of these lights inside of the trees in order to give us some more lights on the inside. Hello. Why am I not... Where am I? There we are. Okay. So that's that's making some things look better. But I think we should put some more lights in here on top of the trees where these lights are coming through in order to help out a little bit more. That was very unintentional, Jen. <laughs> it was um, it was just a coincidence that uh, Ellie Beatmaker's little blue for the headphones and his shirt matched the keyboard. Um, it was unintentional. I didn't even notice it until you mentioned it. Skimon's treasure hunting is a digging, hunting, looting your diamonds gone luck game your diamonds gone huh oh your diamonds gone luck game <laughs> i like how some of these lights just come through the fog oh that is that is delightful i love it i've been wanting to try to get this type of effect for a long time inside of eevee oh, that is, that is that is super delightful. Um, I'm wondering what would happen. Uh, ooh, save, save. I'm wondering surface surface scattering volumetrics. Here we go. Volumetrics. I want to put you at 16 pixels. No, nothing different. Samples. Um, yeah, we'll put. I don't know what samples are doing. We're not going to mess with that. Two pixels. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that, that really... Um... Oh, that slows it down. Okay. That makes it better. Okay. I might use that one. Because that's the, that's the better one. For rendering, per se. So for right now, in order to make sure that we have everything moving quickly, we're going to put you at 16 pixels. There, that moves everything pretty quickly. Awesome. If we're going to put some of these lights in the trees, do I put it above the tree or do I put it in the leaves? 
I think what's going to be most beneficial is if I were to take some of these lights and just duplicate all of them. So let's go ahead and make another collection. This one is going to be lights in trees. I'm going to grab a bunch of these guys. Alright, duplicate, and we are going to put you into lights and trees. Okay, and then all I have to do is follow the line downward. Alright, and then... Okay, good. Uh, now what do I do? Let's go ahead and grab this guy, bring him into the trees. And increase its radius, I think. Uh, radius, 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 radius. Angle. I need the angle size, that's what I need. Size, increase that. It's inside the tree. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of light. It's good just going straight through it without clipping. Do I have this on hash or what do I have these on? Chisels, no. Thank you for the follow there, nut gaze. Uh, oak leaves, what do I have you on? Oh, you're alpha hashed. Shadow mode, I want you on alpha clip. Okay. Oak leaves, no, okay, good. You're on alpha, alpha clip now. Alpha clip. Actually, I want your blend mode to also be on alpha clip. I don't know why you're on alpha. There we go. Alpha clip, alpha clip, alpha clip, alpha clip. Okay, good. Now you're out of that. Come on. Why do you still strong? Why do you still strong? Bring down the light level. Huh. Move on up. Don't understand it. I do not understand it. But it does add a little bit more light to the path. Uh, so... I think I'm going to stick with it. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Some of this is working properly. Maybe it's just the positioning of what I have everything at. That's having a problem. Shadow... Contact shadows? Let me change this guy over. See what you do if I change you over to contact shadows. Alright. Nope. That's not it. Well, some of these are working properly. Some of them. Let's go ahead and grab this guy to be a little bit bigger size. Increase its blend. Blend, blend. Oh, blend is all the way up. That's right. You need to decrease in your light. Maybe a little bit more light. Blend radius all the way up. 
angle size. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It is uh, so shiny, even the sun can't see it. <laughs> All right. Take care, so cheese. That's a little too much there. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Actually, let's let's do the same thing with some of these others here too. Let's get a little bit of um some casting casting lights on these. Good, 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 good. I think that's going to do good. Let's grab a little bit more of these lights. Duplicate this guy and bring him on over to the tree. Good. Now, let's go ahead and see from the path view. Aha! Now that looks wonderful. I like how it, the uh, light, light comes through some of these trees and some of this light is just casting on the side of some of the... What are you doing? I thought I had you differently. Do, 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 do. Ooh, nope. You're just going to come through there. Think. Duplicate this way and upwards. That's what I want. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. I like that. And then the item up at the top of the stairs is going to have a bit of a glow, too. Good. That that back there I want to keep kind of darkish. Mm, but I will have to add in some lights if some of these other things aren't going to show up. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's perfect. I like how that works, too. Oof. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's get in that golden door that we were going to have. Oh, golden door, golden door, golden door. We want to add in a golden block. Do, do, do. Uh, area lights, gone. Temple ceiling, land. Do, 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 do. Mm, unused, that's what I need. All the things, Minecraft palette. Ooh, I don't need all the Minecraft palette. I just want ore blocks. Ores, here we go. And I want gold. Zoom, rip, there we go. Perfect. It's in the right spot. Duplicate. And you are going to move over to interactive items. That's where I want you. Get rid of ores. Okay. Interactive items gold block. Let's go ahead and move this on the grid base. Nope, that's not right. Ah, uh, whoops. 
wrong type of gold. Four items. Minecraft palette. Let's go back to ores because I know it's there. Gold block. That's the one I want. Duplicate. And you're going to go off to interactive items. Okay. Now that I have the gold block... Okay, good. And go upwards. Over. Oh, you're not even squared up, are you? Well, forget that. Here I was moving along the grid and it didn't even matter. Okay. Um, array modifier. This one doesn't need to be applied. So we're going to have an array of not on the x factor we want it on the y correct and we want yet another array modifier on the not x factor we want it on the z factor there we go perfect move you over just a little bit more do 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 there we go. And then the thing can go as high as we want. Let's bring this guy down just a tad. The door doesn't need to be that big. That big will do. Now I can bring you down and shut you. Good. Now he has a gold door. right spot for it to lay on yeah it is okay good good um now this chain guy whoa this chain over here this one is going to be uh, right here and I gotta make a couple holes here. A couple fake holes, really. Come on. There we go. And I want to... Uh, inset. I want to inset. Face. Oh, no, no, no. Right here. Inset faces. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Uh, poor decisions. I should have removed it. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. That's not what I want to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It just needs some time. There we go. Okay, we got out of that. We didn't want to do that. We want to do something completely different. What I think I should do is I should make a Boolean modifier instead. Because it's going to make my life a lot easier if I do that instead. So the Boolean modifier is going to make a small hole for me for the chain inside of the block. And I have some blocks down there that also have little windows inside of them so that way when i use the boolean modifier let's see here add ooh, i want to add a cube here mesh cube we're gonna make this big enough for the chain to fit through there we go increase the size on this guy 
And then what we want to do is increase the size on this guy. Perfect. That's what we want. And we want to go to duplicate in edit mode. Bring you on over right to there. Now this one is going to have the Boolean modifier. Well, technically, Jen, it is easy. It is, it is very easy. Once you figure out where the commands, uh, what the, um, what, uh, what all abilities you have and how to use all of these things, it is pretty easy. I mean, it's just like learning the redstone, honestly. Boolean modifier, and I want to boolean this guy right here. Do 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 do. <laughs> I'm sure you could. I really, I'm really sure that you could do this. I'm pretty sure you could. Hmm. All right, that. Nah. That work? Yes, I think that worked. Uh, cube five. And I'm gonna want to say that if I apply this, that it's going to have the hole inside of it. Yay! Yay! Have hole. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted. What's going on? Weird. Um, well, I got the hole on one side, but then again, I'm not going to be seeing that upper section. I think... Oh, I know. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Let's go ahead and tank this out of the view, actually. Let's go into here and visibility or viewport display. We're gonna want wireframe. Shadows. Uh, no. Shadow, wireframe. I want wire. There we go. Now I can see what's happening here. Uh, Modifiers? No, no. I need to go back further. Much further. Much further. Keep going back. Keep going back. Keep going back. Keep heading backwards. I think that's the right one. Hello, so cheese. So cheesies. So cheesies. There we go. That's what we want. All right. So I'm gonna take this, change it into wired frame, so that way I can see what's happening on the inside here. And what I want to do is change it so that the texture on the inside of this hole is stone brick, because right now I do have that hole, and the hole does go all the way down thankfully, but I do want the texture on the inside to be the, the stone brick. So, what I need to do is change this to the same texture as that, and I want mossy stone brick is what I want. So, give me a mossy stone brick. Um... For the cube. Uh, yeah. Sha. Yeah. Is that right? No. That is not right. What I want. Mossy cobble stairs. Mm, no, mossy stone brick is what I want. Because... See here, if I go to textured, 
do do ba da 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 doom ba doom ba doom. Yeah, has the right thing on there. Textured. Wireframe. Go back to wireframe. Mm. Hmm. All. Okay, all of it. And let's do an unwrap. Smart UV unwrap. Let's try doing that. See if that helps. Because if the boolean and the object that I'm cutting into both have the same material, there should be a texture that shows up on the surface that all of this is looking through. That's how some of my models work. But it's not. Hmm. Unless part of this is actually what's fudging it up a little bit. And I don't know what's happening here. Uh, let's go ahead and change something else here. Let's change, and I think this is okay. Yeah, there, there it's okay. So let's go ahead and change up this a little do, 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 do. I want to grab you and bring you down I will bring you down you can't stop me can't stop me can't touch this do 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 can't touch this huh interesting well, I am just going to have to deal with it. When I can't get around a certain solution, you've got to think of some others. So we're just going to go ahead and apply the Boolean modifier. Might as well. Just apply it and then we'll just fish it with the hole later right now I have the hole which is the hard part It's making a hole into the brick without distorting the textures on top. Oh Well, it's finally uploaded My acelium resistance wraps my title my title uh, suggestion is uh, spreading the fungi <laughs> so cheese um you weren't here before were you you know i said i was gonna i was gonna have a uh, a secret uh uh mesh that i was going to a secret monster that i was gonna fight and i wanted to see if i could get it um uh made up before next stream see if i can uh, make it before next stream and yeah, I did want to see if I could model up the warden inside of Blender. That would be fantastic. And, um, yeah, I wanted to see if I could get that. So, ta-da! Surprise! It was going to be the warden. You guessed correctly. <laughs> um, but uh, Puka isn't going to be fighting him, more or less seeing the warden and then run away. <laughs> He is a he is a pretty creepy mob. Actually, I wonder. I wonder if I can get all of these lights to work in unison. Uh, let me get rid of this box. This guy is no longer useful. Um, I wonder if I can get um get these lights to do what I want to. I think if I if I could, I would try to. Reduce all of these lights at once, like in the trailer, like the lights kind of go And then Again That would be that would be cool if I could just get all of these lights to Obey that system as the uh, as the warden kind of pokes his head out a little bit. Oh, that would be that would be wonderful oh, 
be super fantastic. All right. So, we have this all set up. And this is looking fantastic. I love how this looks. This this is this is surprisingly really good like right now and I I love it. I love this. Absolutely love it. But now we need to get a little pedestal guy up here and I don't know what I want on top of it. Oh yeah, that's right. You said um dragon egg with and someone also said the ender crystal. And um, I'm wondering if I should have somewhat of a combo item. That would be kind of cool. Of a dragon egg crossed with an ender crystal. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if we can do that. How would we do that? Would the ender crystal be inside of the egg and the egg is kind of split open? Or would the would there be an ender egg inside of an ender crystal and the ender crystal is kind of transparent? But you can still see the en ender crystal on the outside. How would we combine those two? Do, 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 do. I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's grab those two and see what we can do then. Uh, righty. Let us grab... This is going to be under interactive items. Um, this is the chain. And that's the chain. Do Chain. Uh, interactive items. We want... Um, Minecraft palette. We want to go into Minecraft palette. I do not know. Let's get rid of land for a minute here. Oof. And sky and atmosphere. Goodness sakes. Okay. Minecraft palette. We want the egg, the dra dragon egg, and we want the ender crystal. So we want these two things. Let's go ahead and grab both of these. Hmm. Go ahead and duplicate these two. Put you right here. And you are going to move into interactive items. Interactive items. Good. Get rid of the Minecraft palette. Go back into land. And sky and atmosphere. Okay. There it is. Wait, what about these? Where are these? Oh! They're parented to that object. How nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and move these up towards the pedestal, shall we? So now we can work on the item on the pedestal itself. Hmm. Can't, I can't wait to get, to get destroyed by... Morden. Uh, Morden is the, the, the true final boss. No, I have not. No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't sang it yet. Uh, I put it up as a challenge because I want to make sure that you know everybody wants my bad voice singing singing this incoherently and believe me it will be incoherently oh for goodness sakes I want that guy and this guy okay zoom on in let's bring this over to the pedestal move on up and shrink on down okay let's see here Hmm, how do we want to do this? Do we want the ender crystal to be on the inside or the outside of the egg? Hmm. Hello, BMC. How you doing? Thank you for coming back. 
think the easier approach, since this is going to be a timed challenge, this animation, I think the easier approach is just going to have the ender crystal on the outside so that I can pick up one item. Because if I have the egg split in half and have the ender crystal on the inside of the egg, it will be... It'll be uh, just one item that I grab. Because to split open egg, I have to grab it and then kind of close it. So that's going to be a little bit more complicated. But let's go ahead and do this. And we are going to um, take that. Uh, we want to add in a transparent shading ability on top of this is what we want to do. Mmm, do we want to do that? Uh, how hard would it be? How hard would it be to split open the egg and then close it? Actually, it would just be a single keyframe if I needed to, to just close the item. Then I could have everything parented to the egg. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. If I just used a, a keyframe in order to animate the egg closing as I grabbed it, it wouldn't be too difficult. Because then that makes the, the egg uh, really different. So let's go ahead and shrink this guy down. And then we're going to parent you to the egg. So we are going to object parent. All right. What? What did you do? Wait, 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 what did you do? What are you doing? Go in the egg. Go in the egg. Thank you. There we go. Move on over. All right. So now, if I grab the egg, this should move around just fine. But now we need to split this egg open. So let's go ahead and do that. How do we do you? Um, let's grab some of this um, all the way. Yellow. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to save, and then I want C. Hello. I want the circle select. Oh! Oh, it's so teeny. Oh, no wonder. Okay, now I see what's happening. Okay, let's split this egg. How do we split you? I think I do that. And then, okay, and a little bit on this side too. Uh, let's do, no, not that one. I want this one. Let's grab a bunch of the bottom half too. And then not that side. All right, I think that's pretty good. Actually, let's get rid of the center section. Mm, okay. And... I think if I separate by selection, and then I go back to this, and then object join... If I do that, then I should be able to just go like this and then separate the egg. There we go. Wait, 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 what are you doing? I separated you two. Alright, alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. 
separate by selection. Let's do it again, just for measurement's sake. Okay, so this guy, this guy should be completely separated. Yes, it is completely separate. Good. Uh, now I want to object join. There we go. That was weird. Okay. Uh, undo. And then there's this little bit of egg right here. So let's duplicate this. And then I want you to be a part of this section here when you separate. So let's go ahead and not move that just yet, but I do want a key keyframe basis. Key shapes. Base, that's going to be the base shape. And then I want another keyframe, which is this. And a little bit of a rotation. Okay, and then there's this guy, which is all of this. And this as well. Grab all of it. There we go. There we go. And then this is going to separate a little bit and rotate as well. Ooh, wrong direction. There we go. Awesome. And then, like so. Got a question. What kind of program uh, to animate? Um, the I tend to use Blender. Um, <laughs> you can always do the um, slash dual if you want, if they have enough. Uh, you know, I should probably just take off the point, the point um, regulation. Because that's the only thing that the points are used for. This guy is going to come on into the egg. Ooh, not so much. Shrink. There we go. Now I'll bring you inside. Yoop. Shrink further. Good. There we go. Get that little little flap thing out of the way. All right. So now I can go in between the egg opening and closing. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Now I can animate. Uh, now I can just have, uh, as he grabs it, this keyframe will just change into doing that. And it'll fit the bit in together perfectly. Yay. Or I could have it actually open, stay open just a little bit so that some of the light can come through. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so I think let's go to layout. Um, interactive items, new. I want this one to be... Uh, the egg. Gen fire one. Gretz Gen. <laughs> Here you. Well, I haven't ever won a Walton duel, so maybe I should. All right, so Ender Dragon egg and everything. Select hierarchy is what I want. The egg. There we go. And I'm going to want to put in some lights on the inside of this egg is what I want. So let's go ahead and add in a point light. Uh, 
All right, and this one is going to be a purplish light. Let's increase its power to about 100. Oof, uh, radius. Hello, radius. There we go. I think that'll do. And then duplicate. Actually, I want to parent it to the ender egg first. Parent to object. Good. Now I have this point light, and I want to try a control D. That didn't work, did it? No. Uh, Alt D. There we go. That's what I want. An Alt D. Then I can just change both these lights at the same time. Mm, and let's actually move these in a little bit too, so that when the egg does close, the lights move in, stay on the inside of the egg. So there we go. So now when the egg closes. Here we go. Now when the egg closes, the lights stay on the inside. And let's increase that light uh, gap a little bit. There we go. Cool. Um, let's take a look at everything at once really quickly. Because there is something happening here with this egg light. It's not bad, but it might want to be changed. Uh, volumetrics, here we go. Volumetric shadows. Mm. Okay. Okay, well, I'm still getting the the light beams that I want. Still getting the light beams that I want. What if I take off volumetric shadows? No, oh, that still works. Okay. Um. Hmm. Volumetric lighting, or something. Ah, yeah, biometric lighting. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. All right, let's jump on over to this guy. Yeah, that's going to still clip through, isn't it? Interesting. So let's bring you all the way down to zero. So if I bring you all the way up to here, and then all the way down to zero. No difference. Good. Not gonna work. Hey, uh, was my question skipped? It may have been skipped, sorry. Hmm. Oh, uh, Blender. Is that the one that you were talking about? The, the Blender? Yeah. It's, Blender is the, uh, the program that I use to do all of my animations and some of my video editing, too since it does have a video editing program inside of it. But yeah, that's the program that I use. It's free. It's within my budget range. Doo -doo -doo. Mm. All right. I think we're just going to deal with that. Because I don't think I can change the... Um, the lights to not go through the egg like that. Mm, point. There we go. Let 
that's radius. Uh, custom distance. Start shadow contact shadows. No, that's not gonna work. Bias down thickness custom properties. No bias. No, you're still not gonna work, are you? Oh well. Oh well. Ooh, well that's weird. Weird indeed. What is it doing here? That is super weird. Okay. Well, I like it, but that is definitely not my intention. like it, but it's not my intention. That is weird. 500. One, uh, let's go with 200. All right, we can still get a little bit of uh, that weirdo thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's how I can check something else. Um, I can change the pixel rate of this to two pixels. Oh, oh no, that's not gonna give me um, a good look at what's actually happening. Mm, 16 pixels. Okay. Well, I get a, bit of, a little bit of light through there. Okay. No, that is egg. So egg is going to be on the pedestal like so. All the way open. Glowing. And then I'll have the things on the inside spinning a bit. And then I can just animate uh, to put the egg in the hands of Puka once he grabs it. Hmm. Alrighty. Uh, do, 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 do. Save that. So now I have myself an item on the pedestal. Um, let's go into flight mode and then tab. <gasps> All right, so he's gonna come out. He's gonna come out this door here. And then he's going to look around, look up at the ceiling, see that he's trapped inside of here. He's going to walk up these stairs. Do, do, do. And then he's going to grab this guy from up here. And as he grabs it, the egg kind of closes. Oh! Oh, I could, uh... As it closes, I could tone down the, the light that comes out of it. Yeah, that would help. That would help a bit. All right, and then once he grabs it, then the uh, the monster comes out of here. There we go. And then come down these stairs again, and through the golden door. All righty. So we have our scene all set up. Um, I don't think there's anything else to add to it except for the monster which is going to be created later. Hopefully between streams I'll have time to do that. Yeah, I'll make the monster and then we'll start animating the thing in. So, took me three hours to get everything created. Awesome. Hmm. I think we're actually going to end it here, because I think that's everything that I can do on stream for right now. Uh, actually, there's one more thing I want to see if I can add. 
Uh, cause that light is overpowering. Um, we're gonna tone you down just a little bit. Tone you down. There we go. Okay. Now we have something better. We may want to backlight this a little bit. Yeah. And I'll fidget with things a little bit later. But I think we'll, we'll end it here. Got some things that I need to do around the house and such forth. Thank you all for coming by, uh, helping me uh, animate this out. Uh, hopefully you guys get to see me be embarrassed, I guess. I'm not looking forward to it, but the option is there. Um, it is about still halfway through it. So, all right. We're going to see who we can raid. Who can we raid? Do, 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 do. Um, manager, here we go. Do, do, do. Raid channel. Who is all up? I think uh, Fibro White Wolf is on. Oh, let's see here. Go to my thingy. I have several thingies, and I don't know which one to do. Yeah. I think we'll go on over to Fibro Roof. Fibro Roof? Unless you're going to be streaming, Jen. Are you going to be streaming soon? I'm waiting for response. Eh. All right. Well, I think we're. Oh, okay. Yep. I will go ahead and wait for you to go ahead and set up. Okie dokie. Gotta send you a text through text message because the stream is a little bit slow. So I will go ahead and wait for you. And I'm going to get this light set up while I wait for you to set up as well because I need this area to be just a little bit more lit and behind everything. Let's go ahead and go to uh, lighting. I want some lighting collections. Temple lights. Here we go. Let's add in a area light. Move this on up. We're going to. Whoops. We want you to go into a really large number. Woof! A little too large. A little too large. Yeah, I think that'll give some backlight to the area. Much, much better. Mm, let's go up to a 300. Nah, something's weird about that light. Ooh! Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, let's make it purple. There we go, make it a little bit purple, there we go, now we have a little bit more light like that. Get myself a little purple light there. And then, actually, let's get a little bit more light, if I don't mind. And we are going to change you into a point light. I'm going to put you overhead here. Okay. Now we have... Let's add in another collection. New. This is going to be... Pedestal lights. Grab this 
Area light, put it in there. Spotlight, nope, not spotlight. Point. Point, I want the point light. Uh, yeah, that's the area light. Oh, okay, interesting. It doesn't change its name. Okay. That adds a little a bit more to it. Definite bit some more atmosphere. Twitch. Nope. Don't want you to hear that. Okay, okay. Just the light. Yeah, that adds a nice creepy glow to the in this section. And then when the egg closes, I can I can just go ahead and tone down these lights. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean no one donated? There's like a Half, there's the half the people donated today. Like there's uh yeah there's 1,200 points into into the uh, sing the hermit mm, hermit hermit nah hermit thingy. Wait, I can contribute to my own thingy. Oh, only viewers can contribute. Why did you give me the button button then? <laughs> Silly Twitch. Boop -boo -doo. Right. <laughs> All right, and Doo -doo -doo. stream manager. Just waiting for Jen to start. Waiting for you, Jen. Ma. Ma. I accidentally deleted the tongue on my little avatar down there during the creation of it. So the tongue doesn't actually move. It's just a texture on the bottom of my jaw down there. Ma. Thankfully, it works out just fine. And I can see the tongue whenever the mouth opens. Hit that button. We'll get in a drink, and then we'll hit that button. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, is there any other lights that I need to add to the scene here? Actually, what does it look like from above? So I'm gonna have to get some above shots, too. Oh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Along the path looks pretty good. And from side outside from outside the path, we're gonna have to get some of these shots too. Yeah, this looks good. Good there. Yeah, we're gonna have kind of some side sideways shots like this going through the area. That would look cool. Him oh, this this one would be good. This would be a good shot right here too, ascending the stairs. Yeah, that's a good shot right there. I love that. Oh, that ah, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Hello, Killer Rabbits. Gonna be jumping over to Jen's stream in a bit. But uh, we were creating the 
MC prep competition animation for the veteran side. There's going to be two sides, the, the novice and the veteran. And I'll be entering my little competition for, was it October 15th is the deadline? And this is going to be my submission. Or at least part of it anyways. This is just the scene. Do, do, do. Great channel. <laughs> ah, rabbit killers. Rabbit killers won. What else can I do to this scene on on stream? It's nice that the contrast of colors is actually going to be coming through. So there's going to be the white light and the purple light behind that too. It's nice that those come through. Hmm. Music is nice. Thank you. Uh, it is all overclocked remixed. Tend to love everything to do with uh, video game musics, especially the retro video game music. And when it's remixed, oh, that is my jam, for sure. Take care. Be safe, sir. Hmm. Have you hit the live button, Jen? I do not see you. Gen fire. Huh. Do 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 fire. Huh. It doesn't even show you in in the search function. Gen fire. No. Oh well. How else do I do this? Hmm. It might be a little high. I was wondering about this. This this might be a little bit high for Puka to reach. It is over two blocks high. Uh, I might want to lower this down a little bit too. Oh, you just hit it. Nope. Huh. Gen fire. Huh. I can't reach you. My friend. Hmm. Uh, added you as a friend, just in case, for some reason, that didn't work. Uh, come on, sh oh, there we go. There we go. Nope. Come watch the teams on... Close. Huh. Make sure... Except, make sure you get the R. The R? What is the R? Actually, what if I refresh this? That's right, if I refresh this, this doesn't kill the stream. Ah, there you are. Found you. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. Hi, Le Penguin. Hey, we're gonna have a, a two-hour stream just because you came in. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're actually gonna go over to Jen, but I can talk to you there. <laughs>